All right. So here we are. We have got, as you can see, the cupboard system pretty much ready to go and print it off. Everything's together. I uh, laid it out for how I'm going to put it on the whole wall. And now we just got to finish by putting on the doors, uh, which is pretty simple. And uh, yeah, and then we'll have this done. And then we are working on the wall pieces, the uh, brick pieces. So as you can see, we've got cupboards going down the side, cupboards across the top. And we got a countertop, which includes uh, two uh, drawer systems, a, a sink, and actually a little, I threw in a little tiny uh, bar fridge, which will you know, uh, stick some little beers and stuff in. So yeah, that, that's what I've got. And the drawers will go in to each one and you'll have drawers in each cabinet all the way down. I got doors for each of these and we'll, uh, right now we're gonna go through that and, and put those on. So this will be a brief cut of the video and edit it in with all the other pieces of putting everything together. So we'll get some of this out of the way. We got the countertop here. Uh, done also and you can see that I've I've uh, also got a tap uh, Printed off. Hopefully you, you guys can see that again if the audio is bad on my apologies. I'm using a GoPro here. I do have uh, An external mic coming for it. So hopefully the next videos once I get that will be better But being Christmas tomorrow, I don't expect that uh, order from Amazon for another week or so so But anyways, yeah, so there's the countertop with the uh, sink opening and the tap Okay, so that, that'll go on top when we get it all together. And we'll get the drawers out of the way. And we'll get these cabinets out of the way. I've already done these cabinets uh, as my testers. So as you can see, <coughs> each cabinet, the, the top ones are duals. And the doors are on hinges, which we use a little wire pin uh, to go in there to, to put them in. So yeah, they turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. They're, they're not overly deep. But for a 124 scale uh, garage, I didn't want them to be too, god too gaudy and too big. So hopefully these look good when I get them up on the wall and, and that'll be in another video to come. Uh, probably edit it in with this one or I'll do a separate one putting these together and then another one of getting them installed on the wall. But yeah, so we'll get these out of the way. <clears throat> put them over here on all my other 3D prints. So this one I put the Snap-on logo on. And I got one of the drawers that also has the snap-on logo, so it uh, looks like a snap-on tool style uh, shop system. Yeah, so kind of cool. So yeah, so we'll get some of these out of the way. We'll start with the lower cabinets, and we'll just go through putting them together. We'll start off with the, uh, we'll get the drawer out of there. These we don't need. They don't have anything but drawers going in them, so we'll move them out of the way. So we'll start with the sink and as you can see I've also got the sink uh, painted silver so it, it's it's a pretty good paint it's that uh, Krylon uh, leafing pen again does a nice job of making it look like it's an actual stainless steel uh, sink and when you put the countertop on the countertop goes over and it hides it in and then looks pretty good I, I think that turned out really good once we get everything put together it'll it'll be good so yeah Okay, so and here's the door and on the door I put a garbage can on the inside just to simulate having a little garbage can at the bottom of the sink. The uh, door handles are already been, all the, the poles and handles have already been uh, detail painted. I got those done so that we could just go right into uh, putting them together. I also got a drain uh, put on the, the sink so it's more realism. And it's very simple. We use one of these little wire uh, I think they're 16 gauge I think uh, I got a pack of them it didn't really tell me on the pack of of what they were but <clears throat> they came in rolls I got them at the dollar store they came in rolls like that so I bought a whole bunch and they're the perfect size so I think they're 16 gauge um, galvanized uh, wire so yeah pretty simple I just cut them to a length <clears throat> And we'll get these doors put together. We've got pinholes on each end. This one only goes halfway through. And then we got the holes here. Uh, the printer did a pretty good job of printing these. I did have to go through a few of them and, and pre-push through the wires to get the holes open enough to push some plastic out the other end. But uh, the printer did a pretty good job because that's a pretty small hole uh, that, that holds those doors in there and that pin. So yeah, I, I thought the uh, FDM printer did a pretty good job. And if you can hear, I got one printer in the background there, the noise from it going uh, right now. So I'm just gonna grab a pair of pliers. Okay, and we start at the top. The bottom is solid. 
uh, you won't see the top of these pins uh, for this cabinet because of the countertop so you start at the top and we will uh, we just kind of grab the wire and line up the door with it and we'll start pushing it through sometimes they're a little bit of a bugger to get lined up but we'll get her figured out and once you get once you get it started into the door uh, then it, it, it guides it down because it's solid all the way down the hole is is solid so once once we get it lined up and started I think we'll be uh, it, it, it gets a little easier you gotta just be careful not to bend the rod too too much so just trying to get that lined up can be a bit of a pain see if we can get her lined up here by hand first maybe not the best cabinet to start with I thought I had these pretty good pretty much lined up but once we get her going it'll it'll get through there so let's have a look see make sure that we've tested this yet see so I can I can push that rod all the way through maybe I'll grab a different pair of pliers here a little bit heftier heftier pin pliers so we know that that hole is good it's just a matter of keeping this as straight as possible and getting this pin push through but it looks like we're just going to test this hole out here see if we can get her all the way through and you just do a little bit of time or you'll bend that that pin yeah we should be good it's going right through so yeah we've got it right through there it's just trying to get it lined up here with the other hole there's a little bit of an offset to the door so that it doesn't rub on these on these pieces here on this door well, we're going to do it this way maybe my hinges just a little off maybe possibly I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going on there but we should be able to get that pin in there I had no problems with the other doors and I based each uh, hinge system off of the other doors so that they would line up but we might be off on this door I might have to redo this door because I don't think we're lining up my indents on the uh, cabinet door might be off just a little bit by the looks of things yeah we're not having any luck there on that one we'll have to see what's going on there percent sure so this cabinet took me a little bit extra work to get it uh, printed up so what we'll do is we'll take my hobby knife here and we'll just uh, clean out a little bit of plastic here it might be causing a bit of an issue here not going all the way in when it uh, goes on the bill plate sometimes you get a little bit of a flare out on the bottom piece to get it uh, set onto the Onto the belt plate so that might be causing me some issues but if not we may have to do a little work on this door and uh, fix it up and reprint I'm hoping not so I got everything done all right so let's, let's see if we can't get that sucker to line up oh, go this way oh, I'm all buggered up here okay Let's see, maybe it's that end of that pin. Let's try another pin. And see if we can't get that sucker to line up for us here. She doesn't seem to want to line up. Should have it in the door now there we go now we're moving right, we got her lined up might have been just a little bit of plastic you see she just keeps pushing through hopefully the bottom lines up just as easy now we're getting her in there okay she goes right down to the bottom we'll have a look to make sure she's gone through and she has 
So there's your door. And it gets a little, it's a little, little tight there. But we'll, uh, that, that's my issue is that, uh, that hole is not lining up just perfectly. So it's, it's causing us a little bit of bind out here because it's a little tight. So what we need to do, is we need to trim a little bit of plastic off of this uh, inner edge here just to give it a little bit more space to uh, to go in there doesn't take much usually it just to get that little bit of an angle uh, I didn't slice that in the in my uh, design because the printer being an FDM printer to get that little bit of an angle it, it, it would struggle and it would cause the uh, the piece to be a little distorted uh, the printer just it, it's too minute of a of an angle for it to print so we, you just have to play around with it a little bit and yeah possibly I might have to redo that door so we're gonna leave that pin long so that I can play around with that door a little later as you can see it's it's not fully closing and I think that's because I don't have these holes lined up just perfect and, and I did in the in the when you uh, set it into Tinkercad and you you hollow out that hole tight so I might have to do some work on that uh, on this one in Tinkercad and, and either redo the door or redo the the cabinet hinges here so we'll have to have a look at that we'll just set that aside okay and as you can see we've got the rest of the upper cabinets so let's do the fridge so the fridge I did uh, removable fridge trays can print them in any color I just use a translucent red uh, to go in there and I cut a smaller pin for that door uh, where is it right there because the door it's a it's a little it's a little different hinge system they're lower than these two and the door I made it so that it looks like it looks like um, one of those see-through wine cabinets or, or mini bar fridges right so it's 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 just got a piece of Lexan in there I just cut out a small piece from a, an extra piece of Lexan I had lying around, lined it up, indented it a little bit, inset it into the door. When I printed the, the door, I had an inset in there, and then just carefully used a, uh, a glue to, to glue that in. So yeah, so that's kind of how that looks, right? And we'll put the pin in this one. Hopefully this one we have no issues with. Oh, look at that. I can push that one right in with my own hand. So that's perfect. Okay, and we make sure that pins all the way down into the bottom. Again, it only goes halfway through this door at the bottom hinge there. Uh, just so it doesn't pop out the other end. That's down as far as she'll go. And that one works perfect. It closes all the way. So that one is perfect. So yeah, that's the fridge and the fridge door. I think that was a nice addition. Just something different, right? And we'll take our nippers. And we just nip off that, pull it out just a little bit from dead bottom. We'll grab it and we'll pull it out just a little bit, cut it off, and then push that pin back down. And then the pin kind of hides away in the top. And there we go. And we have the door. So yeah, these turned out really good. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, the hinge system uh, on my original design which was this one. I didn't like it. I didn't like these these pins, and I think I mentioned that in my last video. Uh, I didn't like how they, they showed through there because I wanted to do the cupboards in blue and the, or black and then the doors in a different color. So I didn't like that. So I just put on the two hinges and made the door more solid across so that it, it covered up the black and you just got the two hinges in the top bottom. So I thought they turned out a little bit better. Okay, so that, that, that was my original design and these ones turned out way better. This one I put the hinges in just a little a little lower, just, uh, just to have it a little different. Okay, so that's the fridge. We got that one done. We'll start with the double cabinet. <sighs> a little bit of stuff in there for me printing all week. Uh, okay, same thing. It just fits in there and I've, I've got it so that there's a good little bit of a gap there so the doors don't hit each other when they open, hopefully when the hinges go in. This one turned, uh, the double I did over here turned out really good. I had no issues. You see that little gap there and it opens up. 
and then I've got a couple cabinets that are no shelves in them and they're, they're the lower ones I'm going to use them for lower and I can put taller items in there some stuff in there but yeah so those turned out good so then we'll just do the same thing here we grab one of these pins hopefully I cut enough and we start it off the top so using nippers with these pins puts a little bit of a, a sharp edge on the edges on the ends of these so sometimes they're a bit you know see i'm already starting to bend it yeah it's they bend so easy this wire but it works really good once you get it going in there it's not too bad so yeah so we'll start this pin off there we go we get the door in place and again we just take our pliers and we move it in slowly till we get it lined up just little bits at a time and i think we're already lined up no nope. Yep, there we go. So now we just continue to push the pin through. So once you get going, uh, like I said, I, I went through each door and made sure I could get a pin to go through it. And we'll just keep going through till we hit dead bottom. And I think we're at dead bottom. Make sure that it's gone through by just see how it's not gone into the hole there. So we just got to make sure we get that lined up the same so that it goes in that hole. And there it goes. And we're good. We're back in all the way down. Okay. So that's good. A little bit of a flop there. We'll have to do some trimming on one of these doors. And I think I know which one it is. Yeah, it's this one here. I'm going to take the old hobby knife again. I think we're a little tight right in here. Just kind of clear out some of that flare out from being on the print bed. I thought I got most of it out. We'll do this one too, just, just because. Just clear a little bit of that out. And then it uh, helps it sit down better. And play with them a little bit. And there you go. Okay. We'll, uh, we won't trim that yet until I'm happy with the door settings. And we'll stick that other door in. Do the same thing. Grab one of these nice, straight as possible. It's hard to get get those straight you really got to work at it because uh, it comes in a roll we'll get oh, see getting it started into that hole sometimes is a real bugger and it bends your, your rod just a little bit so we got to straighten that just a bit and we will grab the pliers again to start it off gives you some good leverage just less chance of you bending the, the rod the pin once we get it started okay oh and we're into the door already so that was another good lineup and we just keep moving it in this one's a little tighter than the other side oh yeah quite a bit tighter and you don't want to really put too much pressure on that wire because you'll you'll put some indent in that wire yeah see we're having a little bit more struggle getting that one through that hole and we bent her and see sometimes when that happens you're gonna have to pull that pin and possibly have to use a new pin this one's a lot tighter yeah because we really bent it at the end here where it's going in let's try and pull her out a bit yeah see now we're gonna have some issues so i'm gonna pull that pin and we're gonna discard that pin and that's because we put those little just those little indents like that uh, are going to cause you some headaches trying to get the rest of the pin in. So we'll put that pin aside. We'll grab another pin. And if I have to cut some more, I'll cut some more. And off we go. Uh, we're going good there. I probably should have just pushed this through the door one more time just to make sure that we've... Yeah, see? So we're hitting something there that's causing us to have some issues. And it's it's I think it's when we hit hit there. I think I'm getting through the door. And then we're hitting, well, we're close to getting through the door, but then we bent here. So, yeah, it can be a pain, but I got lots of that wire, so I'm not too concerned about bending these. If I can get them straight enough, I'll, I'll keep using it. Pliers are good for that. Just get her lined in the flat spot. Those needle nose pliers and straighten her out as much as you can. There we go. Hey, I'm just going to uh, go into the bottom of this door. Make sure that we're 
able to come through there. Yep, we're coming through there. So it could be this bottom pin there we're bottoming them out on, but we'll get that back in there. Okay, start her off again. Get her lined up at the door. There we go. Yeah, it, it has turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way it they've come together anyways. I think for a scale garage, they look pretty good, and I think other people will be will be impressed by the build. It didn't take me too long in, in, in Tinkercat, so now we're through the door, but we're not into this hole over here. So you can open the door a bit, and you can see that pin. Just you can see a little bit of that pin there. I don't know if you guys can see that, and you just try and get it lined up at that bottom hole, and it's lined up. And we're at the bottom. So there we go. Move them around a bit. They're, they're both closing. We got the gap. They don't rub. And voila. Perfect. Okay. So then again, we just pull it out just a little bit. Like I just put the pliers on and I just kind of give it a... Make sure I'm actually moving the wire. Pull it out just a little bit. And then we trim off that piece. And you can either use the pliers, push that sucker back down, flush with the top, and it's back in there. We'll do the same with this side. We just give it a little pull. Sorry if I'm coming off the camera. I'm a little shaky there. That one's a little tighter. If I'm coming off the camera there, the GoPro has got a good wide lens, but I'm, I'm pretty close with it here too. So hopefully the audio is good too, guys. I really hope so. I'm, I'm can't wait to get that uh, setup that I've ordered. I got a new uh, external mic coming and a, and a special holder for the GoPro that I have because you have to use that um, mic adapter for the GoPro uh, 5, 6, or 7s, and I think the A2. I'm not 100% sure, but so for my GoPro, I need that adapter, and I've never bought the adapter, and I couldn't find it locally, so of course, trust the Amazon, and it's on order. Okay, so that's another one done. We'll push that up to the top. So there's your center cabinets. As we're putting them together, we'll line them back up. So there's your center cabinets. And then, of course, I've got the two end cabinets done and I put the hinge, the, uh, the door handles to the inside so the doors open outwards from the cabinets uh, when they're coming down the sides. So there's that so far. Looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, just this one that we've got to play with here so far. For some reason, this one doesn't want to close. And I think I know why. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have to play with this one and do some trimming, I think. I, I would hate to have to reprint um, but I've got enough gap here that it's not rubbing on the, so I'm not sure why it's not falling all the way in. I think it's just, and it could be just some plastic cleaning again. Like I'll, I'll have to look at that afterwards and see what we're doing there. Yeah, so okay, so let's move on. Let's do uh, one of the side ones here. This is, this is not something that's difficult by no means. But it's just a, my design, and other people, I'm sure, have designed different hinge systems that are better, maybe uh, work better, or, or don't show the hinges. But for me, I was pretty happy with this. Look at that, we're already in. And we'll just keep pushing her down. Yeah, I thought that the, uh, the second version of it, now we're getting tight again, is, uh, is worked out better than... Oh yeah, we're really tight in that door. Let's see what's going on. We could have a, when you're pushing this through it, it because those holes are so, so small, so small, that you, you're pushing plastic. Like the pin can be uh, scraping on the plastic and pushing it and clogging the hole at the other end. So we'll just push this through just to make sure we're good. Yeah, see, we're getting really tight now again. So that tells me that we could have some plastic in there. So we'll go from the other end here. And I know I did these doors. Yeah, see, maybe this is the door I missed getting the hinges pre-cleaned uh, out before I turned on the video camera. Like I said, uh, it's been almost a week, I think, since I uploaded the first video yeah, explaining what we're going to be doing. Uh, 
and uh, I've been working at it solid my printers have been just go 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 uh, they're doing the wall I, I know that in the first video of this build series I, I showed the wall pieces that have to be printed uh, I'm down to I think six more pieces to print and then I gotta paint those off and then we can start assembling I got all the floor panels done so all the floor tiles have been finished, which is great because they take a long time. So I've, like I said, I got 144 white, 140 black, and I didn't need as many green. I think it was 45 or 50 green. I can't remember. I usually try to print a few extras, but uh, yeah, so that's all done. It's now just a matter of putting things together and then detailing off the the wall pieces, and and I'll I'll cut in a piece of that in the video also how I, I paint those up to get the brick look because right now I've got two or three over there primed and I'm just waiting for uh, so now I think my, my problem is the bottom piece here isn't lining up or I'm in there oh, I was in there okay so I was already all the way through I didn't realize it we'll just put that back in push back through and yeah, we're in. Okay, so there we go. So that one's all the way in. And we're pretty good. A little tight here. We'll do some trimming here. This little piece of the... the uh, you just got to put a little bit of an angle on there so that the, when the door closes, the bottom portion, like in here, is not rubbing. It, it rubs a little bit. The door closes nice, stays closed. So I, I might not even touch that. It, it closes good. Okay, so we'll pull this pin back out just a little bit more. Oh, maybe too much there. That might have pulled me out of the out of the hole there. And we again just watch that piece flying off. I usually have to go looking for those because they get onto my printers. But uh, yeah, and then we push that pin back down, and there we go. Another cabinet done. So very simple, not a hard uh, together design. And I think I'm just going to double side tape these together to get them lined up on the wall. And then, uh, of course, I'll, I'll permanently glue them to the wall uh, when I get there. Looks like we're going to need some more pins. Okay, we'll do another bottom one here. So these go here because it's an open, uh, <coughs> an open cabinet, no shelves in it. Okay, grab another pin. Oh, we're on the upside, so this one actually goes over there. Start that pin, and we got her started good. Yeah, if uh, if you guys are interested in this, uh, let me know what you think of the design, and you know, in the comment box. And if you're interested, I could possibly uh, start adding these to my design packages that I'll be putting together in the future, and, and like I said, uh, hopefully start uh, selling these off. Uh, for other people to enjoy and I thought these might be a nice addition too. So let me know in the comments uh, Send me a message. Let me know what you think if you like the design uh, once we see it all together. That'll that'll probably be the The wow factor, right? Uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So again, there we'll just hold on to it this time and we trim it off we Push that pin back down And we are set Another one done door closes a little tight there we might have to trim that I'll go through these afterwards oh I think I buggered that one up I didn't push my pin all the way through oh this one could be interesting yeah see how the pin came out so we buggered that one up so we're gonna pull the door pull that out I cut that one too short so that's a no-no that's that's a boo-boo <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I oh, maybe a couple there. No, nope, that's a smaller gauge wire for a different project. So yeah, we'll have to cut some wire here um, But yeah, hopefully you guys have seen this. I, I can't see the back of my Go, my GoPro here. So I'll, I'll have to Hopefully I, I know I'm seeing most of this uh, When I set up the GoPro, so hopefully you guys are seeing it and then we uh, we won't be You won't be missing what I'm doing here just gonna try and straighten that out a little bit. Yeah, I buggered that one up, didn't I? Yeah, 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 it happens. 
got a little bit too involved in my chit chatter and blabbing on but yeah get that in there like I feel like it's at the bottom it's gone through yeah we're through just seems like I got a lot left over there <clears throat> and, and all of these these are these have the exact same depth of hole uh, when I printed these they're all the same except for the other side like the duplicate hinges which which go on the other side so I just mirrored it when I printed it so maybe I just pulled that out a little bit too far so we'll just do a little pull and we'll do a trim there we go that looks good I think Push that in. Yeah, we bottomed out a little bit with it showing there a little bit. And yeah, we're good that time. Okay, so there we go. Another one done. Two more to go. And we need some wire. So I've got a set here that's already <clears throat> unraveled. So I just take it out. I find the end. This is not rocket science, that's for sure. So I really shouldn't uh, waste my time and your time explaining it to you. Straighten her out as much as you can as it comes round, right? So, and I had a little gauge over here on the side of my desk for cutting it, but I'll just use this for now. I always make them a little longer so that I have that that pull in there. We need two, eh? Need two of those. Two good half decent straight ones. Okay. Two more pins and another door. Oh, it's my generator uh, knocking my generator panels around there. Uh, okay, get this pin started. Hopefully, yeah. I find that the bigger the set of pliers, the more. Uh, well, yeah, we're not lined up there. I'm already bending. The bigger the set of pliers, the more. Uh, control that you have getting those lined up oh, another one that we might have an issue with here no 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 it's in the hole just doesn't want to go in the hole possibly another door that I didn't I don't know maybe there was just a little bit of a yeah it's a tight one yeah a little bit of a bend in that wire that I didn't get out so we'll just keep going slowly here and hopefully she'll go in without any hiccups here it's a tight one I don't mind them being tight then I know they're not gonna just come out on me or anything even though once you put her together they uh, there's no way that they could pop out because they're gonna be blocked up against each other and did we get it all the way through nope not lined up at the bottom there we go and we did there so yeah, sometimes just open the door and it helps. Okay. Make sure we're dead bottom. And we're dead bottom for sure. <laughs> and we'll uh, straighten that out just a little bit. Don't mind me if I pull it a little closer to me to see it. Uh, I wear glasses and I need to be able to see with my progressives. It sucks getting old, but it is what it is. Okay, push that back down. Yeah, we're down. And we got another door that is a little tight. So might have to do some finagling on that one. And there we go. Last one. Look at that. Except for that sink that we got to work on. We'll move those scrap wires out of the way. And we'll get this last one done. We're missing a cabinet here. Well, that one is a bottom cabinet, and that one's a bottom cabinet. So yeah, here we go. Get them mixed up, and then I know what I'm doing. That one goes in the bottom. Not a big deal. I still have to put them all together. Yeah, you can see a little bit of elephant's foot here is what we call it in the printing world. Some people call it other things, where it blows out from being stuck to the print bed. It, the plastic just when it's laying down I've got the nozzle just maybe a little too close and this is you can see the difference in the finish this is against the print bed which is a 
build tack. It's like sandpaper almost. And then this this is your top piece, and that's why it's a better finish. It's nice, clear, shiny, a little shiny, and, and smoother, smoother finish. So this looks like I got a little bit of elephant foot in there, so we just want to trim a little bit of that out. Might cause us some issues opening and closing the door. A little bit on the top, I can see. And you just take it on the edge. It just happens to the, the edge, the bottom edge where it sits on the build ta plate like that. It's just sometimes you don't get a perfect level. It's just how far your nozzle is away from the bed is going to determine your adhesion and how it first lays that first layer. Okay, so let's give that a go. Oh, look at that. I can, oh, look at that. I'm almost pushing that half. Look at that. I almost pushed that halfway through just with my hand. Perfect. So I know I pre-checked this door, obviously. Okay, we're at hit bottom. Have we hit? Nope. We hit bottom of the door, but not... There we go. We're into that hinge. And it doesn't go far into that hinge. So that, that's you got to be careful when I'm pulling it back out to trim. Because it doesn't go far in there. Yeah, so a little, a little floppy on the door, but not too bad. Not too bad. But if I didn't trim it, we might have been a little worse. So we're just going to pull it out. Just well, maybe too much. Let's go back all the way in. And just a little bit. Nope, too far. <laughs> Come on. Nope, too far. Okay, we'll do it. Try it right there. We should be good right there. Let me trim. And we're off. And we should have all the cabinets finito. All the cabinet doors have been put together. Another good one there. So that one will go there. That one goes there. Then we have our fridge, which will go there. And our two cupboards, two drawer cupboards. And then the drawers will go in them. Simple, simple design, guys. Just, just simple, 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 simple. I, di I didn't want to make it too hard for printing, and so I made it very simple. So there's the snap-on drawer, and then we, of course, we got the fridge, which, or the uh, sink, which we have to work, work on a little bit. So that's kind of how it'll look like when it's on the wall. I think it turned out really good. I got, I think I got enough space in between the countertop. So of course, once we get that pin on there, the countertop will will go in there and it, it comes out over the lip and comes right out to the edges of these hinges so that they're they're hidden underneath the, the edge of the countertop here, which is rounded. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it's got a little bit of a round to it. And then I put the backsplash on with a round and then uh, actually this isn't glued in yet, but I just got it sitting in there. And I detail painted the knob here, blue on top, red on bottom. So blue cold up. I think that's how those taps work. I'm not 100% sure, but I just wanted to detail that a little bit. So yeah, so there we go. That's what we got, gentlemen. I will uh, work on this door and hopefully I'll get that figured out. And might have to reprint, but we'll get that one figured out. And once we start putting it together and lay it out on the, on the, in the garage, we'll do another video of putting her down and getting her set. Because then we got the wall to do, and we got the floor to do, and then we got other things that we need to put in there. I started designing um, the lift, so I'm, I'm again 124 scale. This is this is what I got so far. Kind of off topic than the cupboards. This is what this video was for, but this is kind of my my idea so far, which is again another metal pin in there. Um, I think that's enough weight, uh, strong enough there to to hold up a 124 scale. Uh, I'm hoping and then this will slide down into of course the side pillars and then there'll be a pin at different levels and you just it'll come up and you can put a pin in and it'll hold it in there yeah so that that's the start of my design this was my test print I did last night I think it's a little small I might up up the size just a little bit but I, I don't want to go too big on it because then it'll it'll look gaudy and uh, and out of place and these are, are removable. I got to work on that just a little bit more because they'll be yellow. So it's a little tight fit. Like it's very, 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 very precise hole there. 
and and printing out an FDM is tough. If I had a resin printer, I think I'd be perfect. But but yeah, so I'm still working on these a little bit. But this is the 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 plan, the idea of the so that they can fold out right when it's not in use. But yeah. So more to come on that. I'll do a video on that also. And as we get through this build during the holidays here, hopefully I can get this done uh, over the holidays. We got double uh, IHF hockey starting here soon. So I'll be busy watching that. But uh, I, I do that down here in my shop. I got a TV. So so yeah, anyways, guys, hopefully you like uh, what you're seeing. And, and I said, like I said, leave me some comments and, and let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and subscribe and and click that bell and for more videos to come and hopefully uh, I'll keep you entertained so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one